Almost 400,000 Utahns say they have at least one week of poor mental health every single month. In the past, Utah has led the nation in depression rates. We have a guest here, a psychiatrist, Howard Weeks, uh, from the University of Utah Healthcare System to tell us a little more about treatment <laughs> and depression. A lot of Utahns battling mm -hmm. it here. Still one of the highest rates in the country? We are, unfortunately. Uh, Utah has one of the highest rates and also one of the lowest rates of people seeking treatment. Why is that? I, I think a lot of it has to do with the stigma of mental illness and then the kind of antiquated idea that you need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps instead mm -hmm. of recognizing that it is a medical illness and it's not something you can just think your way out of. There's a new FDA approved treatment called TMS that you know a lot about. Correct. What is that? TMS stands for transcranial magnetic stimulation. Uh, the University Neuropsychiatric Institute is the only uh, academic center actually in Utah that has this machine and what it does is provides a MRI strength magnetic field to a certain part of the brain that stimulates that part of the brain which then helps alleviate depression. We're seeing that right now so mm -hmm. what is the process how long does it take and is it painful for the patient? Right actually that's one of the really nice things it's it's very non-invasive so okay. it's not requiring taking medication it's an outpatient procedure it takes about 40 minutes for a treatment. Well, and he's awake? You're fully awake you actually usually watch TV or listen really? to music while you're getting your treatment. Um, it's non-painful. You can feel a little bit of a tapping on your skull. What about side effects? Really, the only side effect is some people do have some scalp irritation from the tapping on the skull, but that's the really only side effect of it. Is that something different than the traditional shock therapy that we've heard so much yes. of? And so uh, TMS is different than electroconvulsive therapy. Electroconvulsive therapy requires general anesthesia. Uh, you can also have some memory impairment. It's the most effective treatment we have for severe depression and severe psychosis. But TMS uh, is as effective as like antidepressant medications. And it's an option for patients that don't tolerate antidepressants or don't want to take antidepressants uh, and it's also something we use to augment the antidepressants. How do you know if this is right for you? I mean how do you know if you have depression severe enough that sure. this should be an option or, or do I have the blues? What, mm -hmm. you know, what do I have? I, I think if you have a concern about that or mm -hmm. if you have a loved one or family member you need to talk to your physician. Talk to your psychiatrist, your primary care doctor and they can help kind of sort out do you have a level of depression that needs treatment with therapy, with medications. If those aren't working then we certainly consider transcranial magnetic stimulation or even ECT. I wonder how many treatments it takes for someone to really like get a good mm -hmm. uh, feeling after. Typically with TMS it's it's about 20 to 30 treatments in total, but people start to feel better after 10 or 15 treatments. And just out of curiosity, insurance cover a lot of these treatments? Well, it, because it's a newer um, right. FDA approved treatment, most insurances aren't covering it as of yet, but many of them are starting to do what's called single case agreements and oh, are good. starting to cover it. Very good. So you could fight for it. You Correct. could have you and your doctor work together to try to mm -hmm. figure out a way to get it paid for. Yes. I think what's so interesting about this is that there is hope. If you know someone that's had depression or you've suffered from depression, you feel like there's nothing you can do, nowhere to turn. Right. That's the most important thing is depression is completely treatable be it with medications, be it with therapy, be it with TMS, there are a lot of different options and that's what we really want people to understand is talk to your physician, we at the University of Utah are happy to help take care of people but we want people to get treated for their depression. To receive confidential assessments or referrals you can always contact the University Neuropsychiatric Institute, we'll put their phone number on our screen right there, 801-583-2500, you can also go to healthcare.edu, they're also on Facebook and we'll put all that information on our website, abc4.com and then click on Good Things Utah, Dr. Weeks, thank you so much. Thank you very much.